Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing a basic service on this 2010 Hyundai Getz. So this one has the 1.4 liter petrol engine in it, which is common between 2005 to 2011. We're gonna be doing the engine oil, oil filter, air filter, and cabin air filter, which filters your air conditioning air. So let's jump into it. So there's a few different parts and tools that you're gonna to want to do this job. Grab yourself some gloves and some safety glasses, and also grab a bit of paper towel to clean up any mess. We're gonna use an oil filter socket, which makes the job a lot easier, and a few different sockets with some extensions, but you're gonna need a 10 and 17 mil socket. We've also got a flathead screwdriver and a torque wrench, and we've got an oil drain pan and a funnel as well. In terms of the parts that we're gonna be installing, we've got a Ryko cabin air filter, we've got a genuine air filter for the engine, and an oil filter and the sump plug. Now in terms of the engine oil, the way that you know which one you need is you grab your owner's manual, and turn to the back and you'll see the lubrication chart there and you can see that 5W30 is listed as a preferred oil with 3.3 litres in terms of the quantity. So we've grabbed a Castro Edge 5W30 engine oil which we'll be using in this service. So before we get started we've just taken the car for a quick 10-15 minute drive just to get the oil up to operating temperature which will help it drain out easier. When we've got back we've just put it up on some blocks and chocked the wheels for safety. And then the last thing we do is just crack the oil filler plug slightly, which will also help the oil drain. So we're underneath the car now. We're gonna undo the sump plug bolt. To give you an idea of where this is, it's just on the driver's side to the left of the front right tire. And this is your sump here. So grab your 17 mil socket and you wanna just loosen the sump plug just enough so that then you can undo the rest by hand. And then move your oil drain pan underneath because you want to catch the oil. Now be careful because it will be a little bit warm. If you can, try and pull the bolt away. So if you can, try and grab your sump plug bolt and we'll put that aside for later. While the oil's draining, we'll do the air filter for the engine, which is located on the passenger side of the car behind the battery. The top of the housing has four clips. One is behind underneath this hose here. So you have to reach around and clip it up. And then you have three more on the top like that. Once you clip those, you can move the top of the housing to the side and take out your old engine air filter. Grab your new one and pop it inside. Make sure that it's seating properly. Then take your cover and push it down from above. Clip on your clips. And that's done. The cabin air filter is located behind the glove box in a lot of cars, including this one. So the first thing you wanna do is empty out your glove box. Now this particular car has two clips on either side. You just wanna undo one of them. And to do that, you wanna push from one side with one hand and pull down on the clip and it should come out and it'll come out into the glove box through the hole. So that's what it looks like. Once you've taken one clip out, you can apply a little bit of pressure in this direction and the glove box should sit down like that. Now the cabin air filters are located behind this panel. So what you wanna do is just pull these wires down towards you and there's a clip at the top which you wanna push down and then the panel will come down this way. And it'll come loose like that. Just lift it out, pop it to the side. Now these two are your cabin air filters. There's two of them that sit on top of each other. You wanna pull out the top one first to get access to the bottom one. So just again, push the wires to the side, pull on the filter, and that will come out like that. And then you can let go of the wires and pull out the other one from the bottom. Grab your new filters and put the bottom one first. Now you'll notice that there's arrows on these. So this one's pointing that way. So it sits in, in this orientation. So slide the bottom one in first and grab the second one and slide it in on top. Once they're both in, you can grab your panel again
and clip that back in. Once you've put this back in, make sure these wires are clipped onto the panel. That keeps them out of the way. Grab your glove box, and now that it's down, this other clip will be a lot easier to remove. Like that. Lift your glove box up, and with the same clip, put it back in the same position. That will clip in and hold your glove box. Then grab the other clip from before and do the same thing. So it goes through the hole like this and pushes in like that. And that's done. Now that we've given it enough time to drain, you can move your pan out of the way a bit and just wipe up any excess oil that may still be dripping. Then you can grab your sump plug bolt together with the new washer and hand tighten it. And then you can grab your torque wrench and torque it up. The correct torque setting for this one is 32 foot pounds or about 44 newton meters. And then that's torqued up and ready to go. Now to get to the oil filter, you're gonna to need to remove this cover, which is on the driver's side of the car next to the front right tire. There's four bolts that you need to undo. There's one here and then there's three on this side. So there's one here, one here, and one further back. There are 10 mil, so grab your 10 mil socket with an extension and start working them loose. Now if you get stuck and you can't twist your socket because there's not enough room, just take it off and just use this once you've already loosened the nut. Finally, you can undo the one at the front. And that cover will just drop down. Pop it to the side and you'll get access to your oil filter, which is just here. Now move your drain pan back into position and grab your filter socket tool. Pop it onto the end of the oil filter, making sure that it seats nicely. And then you want to loosen your oil filter, not all the way, but just enough so that then you can loosen the rest by hand. Then take it off, position your oil pan again, and undo the rest by hand. Now you will get oil dribbling out at this point. You can take your hand away and just let it dribble out. But then what you want to do is unscrew the filter, and take it away like that. So again, just grab some paper towel and just wipe up the old oil. And then if you grab your new oil filter, you'll notice there's a plastic cover. Just peel that off and you can see this one's quite dry so what you want to do in this case is grab some of the new oil that you've got and with a clean glove just get some of the clean oil onto your finger and run your finger along the rubber part of the filter. Now we're ready to put the new oil filter on so just do it up by hand to begin with. Now on the filter itself it says to do it four fifths of a turn past the point where it touches so once you start to feel it touch by hand, grab your filter socket. At this point, you can move your pan out of the way and start to tighten it slowly. And that's it. Once you put your oil filter back on, you can put this cover back on, put the bolts in, and you're done underneath the car. So now we're ready to put the fresh oil in. Take off your filler cap, pop your funnel on top, and grab your new engine oil. Now a trick to this is to hold the bottle on its side and that way it won't glug. Now remember we're pouring in 3.3 litres. Once you're done with that, you can take your funnel away and pop your filler cap back on. 
Now we'll just let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll check the level. Now that we let the new oil sit for a bit, we're just going to dip it and the dipstick is just here towards the front of the engine bay. So just pull it out, wipe it on a bit of paper towel and pop it back in. And we can see that the level is just above the full line, so that's good. So that concludes the basic service on this Hyundai Gets. To get rid of your old engine oil, you can pour it into these and take it to your local auto parts store. If there's anything you would have done differently or anything you want to see in the future, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, we're going to be doing a basic service on this 2010 Hyundai I get. So it's a 1.4 litre petrol engine. Uh, very powerful, very slow. Um, so there's a few different bits. Rolling. Rolling. Now if you go like this, you'll get a nasty zap. Step one, buy a car that has more clearance. The correct torque spec for this one is about 33 foot pounds or about 44 newton meters. Kod je tiš gledat ovo drugšije, onda samo reci pa vidit ćemo, vidit ćemo.